everyone, welcome back to the channel. We've got the 04 545 up on the lift so that I can pull the transmission. As I said in the last video, I did find transmission fluid and coolant leaking in between the transmission and the engine. So I will be replacing a few seals to fix those leaks as well as a couple other parts while I have the transmission out. So without wasting any more time, let's get to work. First, we'd need to remove the belly pan and reinforcement plate, which I have already taken off from the initial transmission service. So now I'll remove the exhaust, heat shields, and drive shaft. For the exhaust system, it's one giant piece, so it's gonna come out all in one. So first we'll start by removing these nuts here. So these are 12s. Now we'll be removing this cross member. Looks like these might be 12s as well. Nope, 13. So now we'll remove this mount. I'm gonna take it, unbolt it off of the transmission. Two thirteens. We could take the vacuum line off. So now let's just start taking the hangers off. Go here. And then there's a third right here. 18. All right, so the whole exhaust has to go back to clear the bolts. All right, now I'm going to remove all of the heat shields. I think it's just a bunch of eight millimeters. Hey, I found a tool. That's not mine. Pittsburgh only. All right, now that we've got all the heat shields off, we need to take the drive shaft out. I'm gonna start by removing these three bolts here. They're 16s with probably a 16 backer. I'm going to disconnect the shifter cable so I can shift the transmission into neutral and spin the drive shaft. It's just one 13 millimeter. Uh, looks like I've got the parking brake on. Okay, so I disengaged the parking brake. I've got the shift linkage loose, so I shifted the tranny into neutral. Now I can spin the drive shaft to get to the next bolt. And get the third. Okay, now all the fronts are removed. We're going to do the rears. I think this is an E12. All right, so now we need to pry the drive shaft out of the back of the diff. So there's a couple of slots, one's here. There we go. And this already has a paint mark on it, so it'll line back up and still be balanced. All right, let's get these 13s off. All right. 
All right, now that we've got the drive shaft removed, we need to remove the shifter linkage. The O2 sensors are routed and clipped to the side of the transmission, so we'll have to remove some of the connectors, possibly the O2 sensors all the way. A couple of these connectors will have to be removed. The engine speed sensor is here, that'll need to be removed. And then the tranny cooler lines are up here on the right. So first let's take the shifter cable off, which I think it's 210 millimeters. Just put these bolts back in here. Yeah, these O2 sensors are just clipped to the side of the tranny. But they clip onto the side. And then we'll disconnect the main connector going to the mechatronics unit. Right here, you just have to spin that collar counterclockwise and it'll start to loosen that connector and then pull it out. go. So now that's removed. So the cooler lines are right here. Looks like we've got one bolt holding them into the side of the tranny. Looks to be a 13. All right, so we're going to drain the tranny fluid. It is a 10 millimeter hex head. That's good enough. Okay, we're just gonna continue to remove some of this wiring. It's the oil level sensor. sensor on this side just pulls apart two sensor off on this side and now let's pull the O2 sensors off 22 millimeter <clears throat> soaked in tranny fluid all right, so up in the front of the bell housing, there's a little access port here. Mine was missing the cover already. There should be a couple of rubber covers here, here, and here. And you can see up in there, there's one bolt that we can see right now that is holding the flex plate to the torque converter. So we're just gonna go one by one, removing these bolts, and then spin the engine from the front of the crank. I think I need to actually rotate the engine just a little bit to get that bolt up a little further in that window. I'm going to use a 27 on the front of the crank shaft. So I'm just going to rotate it. Oh, ah. Now you can see that bolt is still there. Yep, it's a 17. Okay. There's one. I'm still just using the crank bolt to rotate the engine. There's the next one. Yeah, once you break them loose, they just come right out. All right, I'm gonna do the rest. Now we'll pull the six 13 millimeters out of the transmission mount. Okay, now the tranny is sitting on the tranny jack. And let's get this mount off. Yeah, there's two 13 millimeters from the top. Here's the tranny mount. You can see there's two rubber mounts. 
This one is pretty solid when you try and move it. This one is just super loose. And I don't think it's just loose. I think it's probably ripped. So we'll be replacing that. Next, we're going to lower the tranny just a little bit so we can see all of the bolts around the top side. You can see the bolts here are now visible. There are about 10 E12s and two E10s up on the top. <clears throat> There's two on the driver's side that have nuts on the back of them. But you gotta get a 15 millimeter on the back side. And there's a plate back there. This plate. all right so i've got all the tranny bolts except for these two on the bottom already removed Make sure all the wiring's out of the way. Cooling lines. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for today's video. We've got the transmission completely removed and are ready to replace those leaking seals. I did decide to break this job up into a few smaller videos as it started feeling a little bit lengthy. So thank you all for watching, and if you haven't already, please make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and notification button so you can stay updated on this E60 rebuild. And I'll see you all very soon in the next video.